Well, this is where I spent the last 24 hours, Juggies. Pretty much the view that I have right now, that's what I saw. Projectile vomiting and diarrhea. I just got a shower finally, so I feel like I'm presentable. I wasn't going to vlog today, but you know what? I got some things I need to address to you guys, and uh, yeah. Hey there, Juggies. Your old pal McGerrance here. Guys, I legit had a 103 fever. That's pretty dang high just as of last night. Feeling a little better today. You'll notice that there's a missing day of video. Like, I was always a day ahead with my videos. Now I'm kind of caught up because yesterday was spent me dying. I ended off the vlog and I was like, all right, I'm, I want to go to sleep now. And I went to sleep and then I woke up in the middle of the night and I just died. I was throwing up. Horrible, some kind of stomach virus. Hurts to hold the camera right now, but don't feel bad for me. I'm doing this because I want to. Uh, hello. Friends, what the hell happened in here? Guys, I swear, I slipped into another dimension. What is going on in here? What is this? Interesting. Luna, is this because you pee so much on the carpet? Luna. I have a build up of like a hundred shirts that I need to sign. Son of a bee. Uh, guys, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had a stomach virus, but it's absolutely like, I'd say, I've had a lot of bad nights in my life. I'd say last night goes in my top 10 worst nights ever in my life. Excruciating pain. Thanks, Pickle Boy. Thanks for that. Which, by the way, Michael, if you're watching this, I've already uh, texted you and I would wish that you respond, but the video has over 50,000 likes. And Michael said hey, he would leak the trailer or the entire documentary if it got that many likes, and it did. So, Michael, don't leak that shit, man. Like, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be hell to pay. There's gonna be consequences. But guys, I know you want the trailer. That just shows me you guys want the trailer and the doc. I'm gonna talk about that more later on in the video. Before that, I needed to eat some. I haven't eaten in 36 hours. I'm dying. I'm literally fucking dying. Mm. Nothing better when you're sick than some chicken noodle soup, guys. I feel like a different person now. Because for a while, like when you're fever, when you have a, that high of a fever, it felt like I slipped into another universe. Like just a, another realm and I was flying, flying through space and in the sky, the sun was rising and then the moon, time, time just blended together, slipped away. And it just really messed with my head. It was freaky. Hey guys, if you liked those like short little video clips that were playing while I've been talking, let me tell you some more about that stuff. Now before I go any further, Juggies, I just want you guys to know that this video is sponsored by Videoblocks. For those of you guys who have been watching the channel regularly, you guys probably have noticed that I don't do many brand deals. That's because one of my personal requirements to do one is that I need to kind of believe in the company or believe in what they do. And Videoblocks is one of those companies that is awesome. As a YouTuber, filmmaker, it's important to always have footage to use, especially today when I'm feeling really sick and I can't get that much filming done or I'm not able to leave the house. It's really cool to be able to go to a website that has footage for me to incorporate and make things a little interesting because that's entertaining is when you can cut from multiple shots at a time. Videoblocks.com actually is one of the largest video stock libraries across the web and has over 2 million stock videos, after effects, and motion backgrounds for anybody to use. If you're wondering why you should care about this, guys, look at this shot right here. The Swiss Alps, this is a video clip that you can use for free from their website to help tell your story and it's all royalty free. So when I shot Psycho Kid Flea's Country, that music video montage for the finale, I could have just incorporated that clip. I didn't even have to shoot it myself. I could have maybe even somehow used stock footage to tell the story without me having to go to this location. So if you want to use that beach shot or you want to get that really cool scenic location of the city and be all Casey Neistat, you can actually pull clips from this site, 
use it for free. You can even use it to make money. So you can put YouTube ad AdSense on there. You can even use it in films for a festival. You can do anything with these clips once you sign up to the site. So with a video blocks membership, you actually get access to the 2 million stock videos that they have on top of you get 40% off per clip compared to other competitive sites. And then you get over 100,000 free clips with your membership as well. That is because video blocks take 0% commission and passes all the savings onto you guys. Now membership normally costs $149 a year, which is pretty expensive. However, thanks to my friends at video blocks, they've given me a discount code where you're going to save $50 on that I will put that in the description below or you can also check out videoblocks.com slash holidays and you guys can activate that membership and start using clips and make your videos that much better because it kills to have a sick insert shot of some clips that you wouldn't normally have and don't worry guys they can't sue you it'd be like if you were able to use copyrighted music in all your videos thanks to a website this is awesome so be sure to check that out being that sick, it got me thinking, I was like, wow, I remember when I used to fake sick <laughs> when it came school time, there'd be, I don't know about you guys, but it used to be a good thing to be sick back during middle school, high school, any kind of school, really. There were times where I would fake sick, for sure. Oh, you, you faking more stuff, Jesse? No, but like, I remember there was this one... There was one school trip to, to ShopRite, of all things. I think it was in elementary school. And it, it was like, it required a lot of math and shit. And I just really, and then the group that I was doing it with of, of uh, fellow classmates, I didn't really like them too much. They're kind of annoying. And I don't think they like me very much either. So I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go. So the whole time, the whole night before, I was like, God, I just want to, I want to be sick right now. I want to call off. I want to get out of, uh, get out of school. And... Pretty much it only came down to convincing my parents that I was sick, you know, because you could always just call in and, and, and leave a message, uh, at least with our school, and like, say, hey, my son's sick, he's not coming in. So I had to convince my parents. So I was like, God, I want to be sick. I want to be sick so bad. Make me sick. Make me sick. And then believe it or not, the next day I had a 100 fever and I was stupid sick. Like, I was so sick. Somehow I willed my mind to make myself sick. That's usually not a thing. That's not a normal thing. However, I'm trying to think of like other tactics. I remember I would, uh, I would take the thermometer and put it up to a freaking light bulb to cause it to be really high. That was one way of doing it. What else would I do? I would, I would opt for the armpit because you know usually you either take your temperature in your ear, under your tongue, armpit. I think you stick in your butt. I, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe. <laughs> but I would opt. I'd be like, let me put it under my armpit. Because I think that makes it hotter than it actually is. Or I would, you know, run around. I would run, like, like run around the house a lot to try and get my, like, to get, get hotter or, like, take a warm, warm bath. <laughs> there is so many different things. If I, if I could just prove that I had a fever, I could, get, I could take off school. Please stay down. Please stay down. Swallow, Jesse. Don't come back up. Okay. I don't feel as queasy. I think we're good. The throw period is done, guys. I texted Parker. I was like, yo, man, you do not need to come over today. Because, <laughs> like, I wouldn't wish this shit upon my worst enemy, yo. I don't want Parker to get here and he gets sick because we got to film. I'm like, yo, man, I got this. I got this today. Just save yourself. <laughs> oh, guys, this, is, this stinks. It, you know what it reminds me of? I forgot I still have these photos right here. Reminds me when I got my surgery done. This was only three months ago, guys. Look at that. Speaking of which, when I was puking my guts out, just so you're aware, because I've already given you more information than you ever needed to know about my health problems, my surgery felt like it was like ripping apart because I was throwing up so profusely. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. But yeah, guys, hopefully, I, I think this is one of those like 24-hour stomach bugs, for lack of a better term. It's just, so I should be good within a day or two. I think this is karma. I think I, I, I need to take a break once in a while. Cause, I mean, even when I had surgery, I did the doc series, which was ridiculous. Like, I just need to take a break. It's hard. I, I love doing this so much, and I love making content for you guys, but it's like, my health keeps trying to remind me, Jesse... You need to slow your roll, bruh. All right? The videos the videos will be made at some point. Don't rush it. Calm down. 
I don't know, guys. I've enjoyed. I wish I was. I wish I had enough energy to at least play video games or watch Walking Dead or something. I feel like The Walking Dead. My parents. My parents. Uh, this is a quarantine zone. My parents have, have hardly even come into this room. I would think they would have cared and, and checked in on me, but they they pretty much put one finger in. They'll like drop something off and then they'll leave. That's sad. Because apparently it's highly contagious, whatever it is. So hopefully you guys don't catch it through the video. That would suck. That would be really bad. Just want you guys to know, we still have all these Titanfall 2 games for Xbox One. Um, I will be giving those away as soon as I'm better. Uh, I want to get back to Twitch streaming this month, especially for the holidays. It's twitch.tv slash McJuggernights. Hopefully in a few nights we can uh, get the stream going, give, do a giveaway. I also think I'm going to do two different console giveaways. A belated one for Thanksgiving, giving thanks to you guys, and then also a Christmas giveaway. So be ready for that as well. Um, I'm pretty excited for that. It's always a good time. Okay, so let's talk business. Jeez. Let's talk about the documentary. Um, I know that's what the title of this video is called. It sucks that you had to skim through to the end. <laughs> if that's all, the only reason why you clicked on it. Um, where the hell is it? That's something I've been asking too, in a sense. Uh, I, it was supposed to come out tomorrow. Or December 6th. I don't know when this video will be released, but yeah, it's supposed to come out December 6th. And it's that time, and it's not out yet, so what's the deal? Um, I haven't been giving much updates because uh, I'm being updated on the reg as well. Uh, we're going through negotiations and things, trying to get everything settled. I feel like one of those video games that keeps getting pushed back, like at months and months on end, next year it's coming out, and then two years from now. Um, that's what it feels like, but... It's coming, guys. It's coming, and it's coming, I'd say, within a month, and you'll be seeing that trailer soon, assuming Pickleboy doesn't leak that sh um, But it'll be coming, and uh, I think I said this before in a Q&A, but why it's taking so long is um, I'm trying my hardest to make sure that it's free and available to everybody in the world to watch. Um, and believe it or not, that's harder than it may seem because there's a lot of hands involved. Um, but yes, that is my number one priority. It's free and available to everybody. And also, the people that made it are fairly compensated as well. And you guys have the best viewing experience because it is a huge, awesome feature film. It's not a YouTube video, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not just gonna release this thing on YouTube and say, here you go. Because it's bigger than that. It's it, like no offense to YouTube, but this is a feature film. Like it, it would be great to see this thing in theaters. It would be great to you know see it pop onto Netflix or something like that. So I'm trying my hardest to give do this thing justice, and then also make sure you guys are able to see it and enjoy it and and all that stuff. And guys, it's. It's exciting, I know, and maybe some of you guys lost interest by now because it's taken so long, but believe me, once you see the trailer, your mind will be blown and you'll be like, holy sh I didn't know if I should be excited, but now after seeing this, I get it. I really get it now. So that's my doc update. I, I, I unfortunately can't speak more about it, but I will keep you guys posted as soon as I learn more things. That's why I haven't said anything because I don't have any new information for you, which sucks. Um, but trust me, guys. Try my best, and I'm trying my best to get better. Um, I'll hopefully have a video out to you guys tomorrow as well. And yeah. All right, Jays, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I love you, Jays, to death. And don't forget to keep it rigid.